Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Marcus, I am the Widow with a Beardo and this is a tutorial on how to create an SDI cable and cue it. Okay, so I'm gonna apologize first and foremost if you can see the amount of sweat that's dripping from my face. It is the middle of summer and it's like 100 million degrees out there or something. So I apologize for that. Um, I'm also filming on my lunch break because you know, gotta be proactive and all that sort of stuff. So, um, SDI cable. This is what we're gonna be creating today. Uh, that's one I made earlier. And what we've got on the table now is I've got a Van Dam 75 ohm coax cable just there. Let that flop how he wants to flop. Then we've got uh, some wire cutters. We've got RG59 three step stripper. Now this is really, really useful to have if you can. I mean, it's only a little bit of money. It's not too expensive at all. And if you can afford to buy it, and you, especially if you're gonna be making loads and loads of cables, I'd definitely advise to get it. Um, it just saves a hell of a lot of faff and it'll make you a lot faster doing that. I've also got a RG59 crimp tool. Um, this one I got from RS, and it's got basically two sections, two stages of crimp jobness, uh, which is exactly what we need for this job. So that's perfect. Um, I've also got some testing equipment, and we've got all the stuff that we need just there. And I forgot, we need the boots. We need the strain reliefs. I'm back. And we've got the strain reliefs there, so. Um, So without further ado, let's get to it. So we get the cable and we get the strain relief. We slide the strain relief onto the cable, um, thin end first. It'll come parent wire in a moment. Then we get this uh, circle, circular metal thing. That's for the crimping job, that's to hold this in place, which again we'll get to in a moment. So we slide that on, so then we've got the boot and we've got the metal. Then we need to strip the cable. It's very, very important that you do that first. Make sure you do that first. Get the stripper. Put that on, and I tend to, if I do that, you're gonna see, I tend to leave a, a centimeter or two um, just there, and I wanna twist this round. Uh, I, tend to, I find with this tool is about four or five turns, but you basically wanna do it until you stop hearing the crackling of the cable cutting, so. Yep, yeah, that was five, so pull that off. And sometimes this can, come back so in that instance you just cut it and start it again but let's give it a go pull that off there we go perfect and now we've got this little chunk here that we just need to pull off as well being very very careful there we go great so now what we have the black outer coating we've got the copper screen we've got a little bit of plastic there and then we've got the center bit of copper there as well. So we just need to twist that round. Twist, 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 so it's nice and tight. Then we get our wire cutters. And I'm just gonna cut this quite short. So I'm cutting about sort of, I suppose, probably about five or six mil, roughly. And then we get this center pin. So it's, it kind of looks like a little tiny bullet. You just slide that on, it's a bit fiddly. Slide that on, brilliant. So that goes on nice. And then we just need to get the crimp tool. So once again, it's got two stages. I'm gonna go for the smaller hole at the moment. So we'll whack that in there. we we'll line it up. And crimp that in. There we go. So give that a bit of a pull and nothing's happening. That's good, that's what we want. Then we're almost there now, halfway there. Then we get the uh, BNC end. We slide that over the center pin and push that in. So we want this screen copper to be on the outside of that. So we push that in till it pops and it clicks into place. And we just put that around. There we go. Now moving back to these bits. We slide the metal bit up over the screen and we just make sure there's no copper coming out of this little bit here. There's nothing there, which is good. Then we do our last little bit of crimp. So the bigger hole this time, slide it over. And we crimp it down. 
There we go. So, I'm now just gonna give that a bit of a pull. Make sure that's staying there. You can be quite vicious with this now. So just give it a bit of a pull, that's good. Um, that's on there. It should have a little bit of spring as well. As you pull that, as you pull the BNC connector, that should spring. Then we just wanna slide this strain relief boot up and we just really pull it until that's on there, nice and secure. And there we go, that's one end done. It's that simple. So let's just quickly do the other end as well. Might as well as we're here. So first of all, we want the strain relief. And it's very, very, very important that you do it this end. That end is not that important if you've only got a short cable, but this end is very important. Because obviously once that ends on, you can't get this end on once you've done sort of this bit. So we've got the strain relief, we've got the metal bit. They go on first, there we go. Get the stripper, whack that in, and again, one, two, three, four, five, there we go. Carefully pull that off. And did I mention it's a very messy job? You get all sorts of copper and crap everywhere. So we twist. And we cut about five or six mil, there or thereabouts. Then we get the center pin, slide that on. Get the crimp tool. And crimp that into place, there we go. That's nice. Last little bit to put on is the BNC end. Slide that on. Click it into place, there we go. So obviously if there is any copper cable sort of sticking out a little bit over the edge, just trim that down to make sure that it's not, or just tuck it back. Slide that over. No copper sticking out there. Oh, I know there is a little tiny bit there by the looks of it, so let's just bring that back. There we go, that's looking better. And the last little bit of crimping. Here we go. Give it a tug. That's good. And that is our SDI cable all made up. Whee! Now the final little bit is just a test. So we put this in on the end here. It's just a little tester kit, this. Um, don't have to do this, but I like to, just to make sure that it is actually working. I'm gonna flick this down to coax, and hopefully it will say pass. There we go, pass. Awesome, we have a passed cable. So now it's just a case of plugging it into your camera or to your, uh, whatever it is you're plugging it into. And that's about it. So, that is how you make an SDI cable. I hope that helped someone out there. I hope someone is gonna find that very, very useful. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please write any comments down below that you'd like to. Uh, and subscribe to my channel. Also, this isn't the only type of thing that I do. Um, I also do other things. So please check out my channel, see what other videos I've got as well. So, that's me done. Thank you very much, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.